Tenby says, I worked extensively in SharePoint admin on premise and then took a break, as we all do. Uh, <laughs> after that, the whole world looks changed. How do I take my career forward into SharePoint? So uh, certification, uh, is looking for guidance on like which ones do you recommend, courses to take, self-study, uh, is is you know, what do you recommend? So how good and stable is it to be on the uh, SharePoint framework, the SPFX side? So looking for some guidance on what to go and focus on. Don't focus on SharePoint. Focus on Power Platform. Oof. That's a That's pretty bold statement. That's, That's a pretty bold statement. statement. Well, I mean, the, here's the thing. It says I worked extensively in SharePoint admin. And here's the problem I'm going to say with that. So I guess if you're looking from an admin perspective, um, in the old world, you know, in the before times, um, you know, SharePoint admins really did a lot of stuff at the SharePoint platform level. Well, SharePoint admins don't do that anymore. Um, a lot of that is managed on the Microsoft side if you're going to the cloud. Now, there are SharePoint 2019 um, on-prem that's going to kind of be in the same boat, that they're going to basically just get updates on what's in the, the platform itself. But if you're thinking about going into the modernized world of the cloud, um, the admin stuff is going to look different. The admin stuff yeah. is going to be more around all of the applications, not so much just SharePoint. There's going to be some SharePoint stuff, um, but there's also going to be, you know, admin configurations across all of M365. Um, and I mean, there's a ton of learn courses out there for that. Um, well, there's yeah, a lot of good info. It really depends on, yeah, and the role, and think about that too. There are a lot of admins that were very record management compliance focused. And so, I mean, so many aspects of the world change. Like how long ago did you leave the space? Uh, you, were you a SharePoint 2010 admin and now everything's out in the cloud? I mean, like what? Like, what are, what are you talking about? But that's why being so specific of, of you know, what your, your role is now, what you want to go and do, uh, it's become much more, it's more segmented. Again, as your organization moved over in the Teams world, what are you trying to automate there? So what are you currently, what are you an administrator over, or are you just trying to build more automations, more other solutions, point solutions, more on the power, power platform side of things? I think it's also important to understand what modern SharePoint is. And, and that is not just a series of, of capabilities in the platform. It's also an approach, uh, a different way of understanding the architecture and how to lay things out and to know what is and isn't possible and what is recommended and not recommended in that platform. Understanding that it gives you a great foundation layer and then take in take into account that teams is is you know it's our hub for teamwork and it it kind of muddies the water on where sharepoint fits but uh, sharepoint has a uh, very specific use cases in the the team centric world where we talk about um, sharepoint sites and pages and news articles that feed our our, our viva connection story and also the the power of, uh, of files that are exposed either in OneDrive or in Teams, and then finally you see the splitting out of of lists be becoming its own hero app in the form of uh, Microsoft lists. So you have SharePoint hasn't gone away. It's 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 still the foundation, but it's it's being repositioned. And understanding that positioning and understanding the capabilities will help you inform your decisions on where you invest your time into in you know tooling up on SharePoint. Uh, our, our friend Mark Cashman, he does the intranome po intrazone podcast, excuse me, and that's a valuable asset to understand everything SharePoint and SharePoint related. So Christian, I have to say that uh, two things. Uh, Norm said that word um, and you know we try and avoid that word or we did try to avoid that word, but he, he said it, he brought it up. Um, Viva. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. It's not going anywhere. Wait, why yeah. are why are we why are we avoiding that word? We we we've had a we had a, a a session quite a while back when we were doing these on a regular basis where 
when Viva first came out and we were like all boo against Viva and what Viva was and what it, you know. <laughs> who, who are you Not talking me. about against <laughs> it, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were you were right there with us. You were right there with us there, Christian. I don't know what you're uh, talking about. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, the, uh, I, second, I, I just say, uh, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, hashtag fake news and show me the sources. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, you have the there's, sources. There's, there's there's a lot going on uh, in, in a lot to be said about Viva. But that's another area. Again, depending on what Tanvi is trying to focus on, um, there's a lot that's happening there where you could go and just focus on, you know, the connections aspect and bringing the kind of that intranet experience into the team's platform there's the topics i mean that's a world in itself and syntax on one side topics you know is, is part of that continuum a lot that's happening in that space and then of course you know the the more hr centric the learning and the you know the insights is that's a can of worms to get into mm -hmm. um you know, it's it's a lifestyle choice to get into analytics, Norm. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'm also reading. So if you read the question, if you kind of read into it, and this is where we kind of start getting into our conversations about reading into the question. What's really interesting to me is I see SharePoint admin and I see a question about SharePoint framework. Well, if I marry up somebody who has good backend admin skills and really likes coding, I might even suggest something like logic apps or looking into Azure fundamentals, because what we thought of SharePoint before where we were doing all these API integrations and stuff, we don't do it that way anymore. That doesn't mean that need has gone away. It's just switched to another area. So I think, you know, it, it's also like Norm said, what are you trying to accomplish? What are your interests? What do you want to do with your career? And this is a big topic for a lot of people right now who have a background in certain areas that still want to do those things, but they may have shifted to a different location. Now, I'm just a little biased because I think that, you know, the second thing I was going to say is that I think that people who are working primarily in the Microsoft platform um, should, you know, learn from you said the automation piece, uh, the UI aspect of it, but also the CLI PowerShell. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, because yes. everything, there's more things that can be done via uh, the APIs and like Azure CLI and PowerShell than can actually be done in the UIs. Um, yeah. You know, there's more functionality under that layer. So it, I, I always tell people to at least to get a base understanding. If you've never done it before, if you've never done scripting before, you don't understand the concept of, you know, ad, administration uh, through automation, um, that's something you should do. I like to quote the uh, um, the wise words of Mr. Brian Jacket from who's now at Microsoft when he said PowerShell um makes you all around a better person yes that's so <laughs> true yeah. so true so it, sounds like, link to that video. <laughs> so it sounds like number one uh tommy really needs to maybe understand what some of the new things and the new options and the new words are out there um so that they know kind of what to look for well, one thing too is is Microsoft has gotten really good at like the learning paths and guidance around the certification. So if you yes. uh, just reading through that and looking at some of the role descriptions and the paths for that, it has suggestions of what you want to go and do. And you can also go, always go and explore some of those topics. There are other people that are out there. Like I always like to point to Vlad Katronescu, his blog. If you just do like search for SharePoint Vlad and you'll find his site. But he also has guidance on very comprehensive of learning guides, free and paid for certification programs and things that are out there. Reading through sites like that, getting ideas of what is your role? Tombi, what what are you what are you trying to do? Where do you want to go with your career? There's a lot of guidance out there on what to go and what you could potentially do. Mm -hmm.